worse than the 2022 bear market low. Despite that, you see these major institutional allocators buying in size. And so to me, it's really like you have to fight your psychology to not be bearish when the herd is bearish. But looking underneath and, and seeing all of this data, it's really hard not to be bullish, um, particularly when you're observing Bitcoin for what it is, which is a macro asset that you want to hold over 5, 10, 15 years. Yeah, I kind of I kind of view it as you summarized it nicely of it's probably like a mid to late cycle correction where the, the psychology starts to become a little bit hard to tell, like, is now the right time to be bullish because the majority of people are bearish or or is it the other way around? And, and I don't have the right sense of where I'm sitting. But, um, you know, and as you as you get closer to uh, deeper into a cycle, it becomes more confusing about like who's off sides here. But but I have a feeling that, you know, as you pointed out with the fear and greed index, like people pretty quickly flipped to fear, you know, over the last month or two. And without without much market reason, in my view, like, you know, this is kind of a garden variety correction. And in, in, it certainly would have been in 2017. There were like seven, eight, nine of these 30 percent plus uh, corrections in the in the 2017 bull market for Bitcoin, um, and yeah, so you know, I th I think that I think that the fact that people so quickly started to feel like this is the beginning of a bear market um, is not something that happens at the start of a bear market. I think there's a persistent belief that things are going to go higher still for the majority of people. You know, when you're at a, a true top, because People are most bullish at the top. And right now we kind of have this weird mix of like, people are pretty quick to be bearish, 